Good Saturday morning. Psalm 48 is the inspiration for the well-known hymn, How Great Thou Art. When we realize the greatness of God, then we can truly be encouraged. The world's looking for hope and for comfort and for encouragement in these difficult days of pandemic. And many are looking for it fruitlessly in the voices of politicians. But in the end, politicians are just people. God, of course, is different. Because of who he is, we can be certain of his unchanging character, and so we can be confident in his unchanging covenant with us. He is faithful to his word, and this causes us to sing, How Great Thou Art. I don't know what situation of difficulty you might be facing today, but I do know that if you belong to the people of God, if you're a member of a local church, then you have God's inspiring word to encourage you and his people to encourage you. Lots of words are being spoken to encourage people today by a lot of different people, political figureheads, medical experts, celebrities. And they want to encourage, but they are not inspired and we have no certainty about their words. But the word of the Lord is sure and our God's encouragement is certain. Make sure you're trusting the truth. Psalm 48 verses 13 and 14 say, Take note of the fortified walls and two are all the citadels, that you may describe them to the future generations. For that is what God is like. He is our God forever and ever, and he will guide us until we die. The picture here is that of a people who were at one time prisoners encircled by the enemy. They were in peril and, and they couldn't walk about freely for fear of attack. But now that the Lord had rescued them, they're told to walk about freely, even survey the damage done by the enemy. There's also a wonderful promise implied here. As the people of God marched around Jerusalem, they would discover that the towers were still in place. There's no damage. In fact, everywhere they looked, the city of Zion was in good shape. She was no worse for wear due to the recent siege by a threatening enemy. How amazing is that? Indeed, that is something to tell their children about. But notice what they're supposed to tell their children. They were to tell the next generation that this God was their God, and he would lead them forever and ever. I see this applying to God's church. God will guide his church throughout its entire journey, and we must grow in love and appreciation for God and his church. And as we do so, we must pass that love on to our children. And the best way for our generation to pass that appreciation on to the next generation is for us to boast about what the Lord has done for us. Speaking of God's church, today's our work day. I got breakfast to prepare. See you tomorrow.